Greetings wonderful viewers. In this video I'm going to show you all the products I use to have clear skin well into my 50s. I hope you enjoy this video. My crafts are on Saturdays, Doll Talk Thursdays. Thank you for watching. Greetings wonderful viewers. In this video I'm going to show you the products that I use to wash my face. This is probably going to be the only video that I don't have on my eyelashes and my makeup. I have a complete bare face. And um, I'm one of those people, I don't like for people to tell me how to do something if I don't think they have done it successfully themselves. You know, there are people who, they want to tell you how to make money, but they're broke. And I'm just thinking like, well, can you get it to work for you first? Or people who want to tell me how to grow my hair and they don't have hair. Like, so I feel like for the most part, my skin is decent, <laughs> you know, and um, I, put, I use a lot of products on my face all together all the time. So <clears throat> the first thing I do for my face is, I'm, oh, and by the way, nobody is paying me to do this video. I'm just doing it because it's one of the most asked questions that I so get. So the first thing I use to do before washing my face is I wash my face with this Ambi soap. Let me see, can I get a good shot up in here? I just use a white washcloth. I wash my face really, really good in my neck. And while the suds are still on my face, then I add this mixture that I'm going to tell you about. So the most important thing I put in my mixture is this St. Ives. Let me see, can I get a look up in here? Oh, there we go. It's the St. Ives Blemish Control. Let me go this way. Apricot Scrub. I've been using this for like... 30 years. It's really inexpensive. You can get it. I usually buy it at Walmart, but I think you can get it anywhere. But this is like so important. So what I do when I get um, a jar like this, the first thing I do is I split it in half. I take half out and I put it into another container. But now I've been doing it so long that usually I just take half and put it into an old jar. And then I start to mix it with my other products. So, and this is another base that I use. You know what? I was so embarrassed. I'm like, this is so dirty. You know, I wanted to like just go buy a new one just so it would look nice on video. But Clear Seal Rapid Action Daily Face Wash. And I don't want to keep this. These two never change for me. I always mix, you know, this and this. And then the other two products, sometimes if it's something new or something I want to try, I don't mind throwing it in there. And so the two that I'm additional products that I'm using right now is the Bior Charcoal. And I, this is just recently. I like it. I just wanted to try it, so I just add this. And let me see. Can I get a good shot here? I don't want this to be complicated. There we go. I also add this Neutrogena Daily Scrub in my mix. Let me see. Let me see. Let me get it. Sorry about that. Let me see that. And one more thing. Just one more. This Ambi. And I've been using this for years too. This Even and Clear Exfoliating Water. I mix all of these products together. I know, this is kind of insane, right? Because I have this philosophy that we're going to tag team my face. So where one product may be lacking, the other product can come in and like help out. I don't know, but I've always been this way since I was a teenager. So um, this is what it looks like. And I don't use any particular portion. I just literally just squeeze it until you know until it feels good <laughs> and I just add all of those products I take a wooden stick and I just stir it up that's how I make it and while so I still have the suds on my face from my from my ambi oops got it upside down right so I wash my face and then I have my concoction that I put together and I just put it all over my face and I let it remain on my face while I brush my teeth and of course, you know, I use two, two different toothpaste to brush my teeth. Um, I think it's the Arm and Hammer. And then I can't think 
of the name of the other one but basically um, so even while I'm putting the things on my face my face wash that I put together I, um, I have my mouthwash in my mouth so I wanted to work while I'm placing the things on my face and washing my face and so then um, I brush my teeth twice I take my time I know is that I think yeah I think I have a little bit of a problem but you know we'll talk about that another time but basically after I finish brushing my teeth I've given the um, face wash mix that I put together time to sit in and then I just um, just take some water and I just rinse it off and then I use the clear seal pads I know right I use the clear seal pads to um, then clean my face before applying my moisture. I obviously cannot count. That was way more than two more. But you get the picture. Um, I've never been really good at math. But okay. And that is how I have been washing my face for, yeah, for at least a good 32 years or more. I've always liked to mix things together. I don't know why. I think I, I, I don't. I don't know if it makes sense. I don't want you blaming me if something if goes wrong. you have a concoction that you use on your face, that is your secret sauce, come on, give it up, share with us. Please write it in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like my orange slice earrings that I'm wearing, please check out my crafts on my YouTube channel. I also made them in lime and grapefruit and lemon. Yeah, they're really fun to make.